What's up YouTube? It's No Sense 305 here. I'm about to do a do-it-yourself video on the most efficient fluidized bed filter. This is some of the stuff that you're gonna need. Um, very, very cheap stuff. You need an air pump, you probably have that already. This is a biological corner sponge, some uh, K1 coldness. This is six inches of PVC pipe. This is a cap to the PVC pipe. Exacto knife, two suction cups. This is a uh, another piece here that goes on the one inch, and it is a galvanized nut. Uh, also, a very very important part of this, can, you can either use these tubes that I found on eBay, fairly cheap, or uh, what I like to use, which is a tennis ball, uh, the thing that the tennis balls get held in. Okay, I'm going to start with the video. Uh, these are the supplies. Oh, and another very important piece, the ultimate do-it-yourself do guide for the DIY Aquarius. This is uh, Waru Joey's The King of DIY's book, um, Joey Mullen, you see it there, is uh, 300 pages of just about everything you need to know how to do. Um, so it teaches you how to do everything. I just put a little twist on it with my imagination and I'm gonna show you how to do it now. Okay, I'm gonna now make this the quickest do-it-yourself video on the planet. Okay, first you're gonna start off with the sponge filter, 2893, it's a tank corner filter. Very large, it's almost about six inches. Uh, I'd say about five inches. Uh, big, so it's really big. So now, um, get this out of the way. So you're gonna start off with your tennis ball cup, thing that holds a tennis ball. We're going to put two suction cups on the top, uh, close to the top, one right here, one right here. We're going to put some holes so that the air can escape. At the top, I put one, a few of them on each. The more holes you put, the less loud it gets and the less your wife will want to throw you out of the house. Um, mine, uh, you also put one here at the bottom, close to the bottom. That's where we're going to put your air tube. The air tube is going to go right in that, right in here. This is going to cause for all of the moving bed part of the moving bed filter. Now you're going to cut a hole in the top of the tennis ball cup. You see that says Will. Mm. Um, he used to um, be in a movie on a beach. Uh, Wilson. Anyway, I'm going to cut a hole here. You're going to stick this end cap that you find at Ace Hardware for about 39 cents. Cut a hole in it. Put that here. You're going to take your galvanized nut you're going to tighten that bad boy down. Now when you tighten it down, um, just tighten it down real close. When it gets close to the end, you can turn the whole thing. I'm gonna try to show you uh, how I'm gonna do this. You tighten it down here. Once it gets to the bottom, you're going to just turn the whole thing. It'll tighten down. Just, just in case you were wondering how I did that and you seen both of my hands, that was me neck recording. I'm the best neck recorder on YouTube. Um, so anyways, I have this uh, tightened down real quick. We're not going to lose any suction here. You're going to put your K1 coldness in your cup. And you're also going to then, you have your 6 inch, your 1 inch PVC that's 6 inches long. We're going to stick, this is a very important part, your holes. Put a hole close to the bottom because I use two um, air lines. So I have a pump that has two outlets and I'm going to put this in here. And one of, this, uh, one of these holes are going to be for my air line so I could stick my air line in here. Um, just because of the fact that I wanted as much suction on this as possible. This is a biological sponge as well as going to be a mechanical sponge as well. Any uh, particles in here being trapped. So I'm also going to put a sponge here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your end cap. You're going to put it here. And uh, so your end cap is going to be here. Uh, this is my son. He decided to see what I'm doing. Um, so you're going to put your end cap here on uh, with enough space so that you can put your air tube in. Then you're going to flip it over. You're going to put your cap on here that we just made. We're going to put the K1 in here and then we're going to flip it over. Um, once you flip it over, it is going to be able to hold the K1. This holds, uh, I want to say, about three quarters of a liter. Not really a liter of uh, K1 columns, probably half a liter. 
a half a liter K1 coldness that um, this uses. Um, so this is like a backup efficient sponge. So uh, I'm going to put this in and show you how it looks in a second. Okay, this is also, uh, uh, this is how it looks with the K1 in the cup. We're then going to take our handy dandy filter, uh, our sponge at the top rather, and we're going to, here comes some more neck recording guys. Should win an Oscar for this. All right, so listen. So we stick that thing on here. This is nice and tight. Uh, there's a hole there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so back done with the neck recording. There's a hole there. Um, so when this flips over, this flips over, this is gonna how this is how it looks. Now this is very important. I wanted the three holes to line up so I can hide my airline hose. So I want that to line up here on the bottom as well. Uh, go back to the neck recording. So we're going to get the three holes lined up. And sticking out of the back. So now the holes line up, suction cup, suction cup hole. And then the hole for the airline down here all lines up in the back so that we can run our line to the corner of the tank and I'm going to run an air tube through here and through here at the bottom so this one's going to be responsible for the suction this one's going to be so the K1 keep moving now uh, when you're ready to change this because I know that's what people are thinking when it gets gunked up or whatever you're just going to be able to put your hand in your tank you're going to be able to remove this part of it this is going to be suctioned to the tank, so this isn't even going to move. The air is still going to be on here. The air is still going to be continuously moving your uh, K1, and it's not even going to be coming out of the hole. Uh, because it is neutrally buoyant, it doesn't come out of the hole. Now, when you're, you can take this, you can take the whole thing out, or you can just leave it, uh, take your sponge off and clean it, and then when you're ready to come, you can put this thing back on. You can put it back on here, and then you're ready to go. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, what is this snow globe thing here in the back? Okay, I found this at Walmart. It is a floating pond decoration. Basically, it's an LED. You can push it, and it turns a bunch of colors. Uh, really cool. It's a waterproof LED. It cost me $1.26. You can take this waterproof LED out. And just to give it an added effect, you can stick it either behind your filter to the side or whatever have you. You can put it on top, um, and you see how cool that looks. Wait till you see it in my fish tank. It is uh, looks really, really cool. It's really efficient because there's a biological sponge here also as a mechanical sponge. There's also a biological moving bed filter. So it's really, really cool, really cheap. Um, I had this at my house already. The K1 I spent uh, 10 bucks on. The sponge I spent about seven bucks on, and I spent about a dollar uh, 79 on the pipes. I don't remember how much. And also the LED I spent a dollar. Uh, so it's not a very very expensive uh, pump. The, everything else, I mean, I have airline tube and I have uh, the pump, but it's just an idea to give you guys what I did with Joey's book. Um, I created this uh, to make it, because it is an efficient filter, the reason why uh, I chose to do it like this is because a lot of the other uh, fluidized bed filters are made out of two liter cans um, and they don't look very good in a tank. They're not very uh, appealing aesthetically. So now if you want to fit more K1 into your tank, Depending on what kind of tank you have, you can get one of these tubes that I have, and you can stick more in it. Now, I have a 55 gallon, so this right here is just about as high as I want to go because it leaves me with a few inches of water above it uh, for the gas exchange and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to show you now what it looks like in the tank with a light behind it, and um, enjoy.
About this time in the video, you can see that I lied, that this isn't the world's shortest DIY video, but you can tell how pretty this thing is. Um, it's in the corner of my 55 gallon, uh, which I will be painting the back on today. But uh, look at that K1 move around, man. Let me see if I can zoom in. So, anyways, YouTube, it was a pleasure. Have a good one.